from just Jessica Lampert. The Giants, uh, what should the Giants do rest of offseason, including draft? I kind of think they're done spending. I'm, I'm looking, I'm adding to my trenches at offensive line and edge rusher. I'm looking for a corner. I'm looking for a safety. And honestly, I might trade down and get some more future draft picks because I might need them next year if Daniel Jones is not my guy. From Tom Bounty, okay, Saquon Barkley to the Bills. Who says no? Maybe it's the Bills. Saquon's in a weird spot where the Giants very clearly are rebuilding. They, they are taking their time to, to reset that, or the Giants are, to, to rebuild that defense, or offense and defense. They're going it, to, it's a slow process. And Barkley, eh, you know, previous regime took him. He's been banged up. They probably love to trade him away. Who wants that $7.22 million contract? Maybe it is Buffalo. Maybe they could restructure it a little bit to be creative there. The contract is a problem, I think, for teams because the NFL's caught up and said, you know what, premium contracts and big draft picks for, for backs, not a great investment relative to other positions. So I could see Saquon getting dealt. I just don't know if it's for that much in the end. What do you guys think? Will the Giants trade away Saquon Barkley? Type in Y for yes, they will, or type in N for no, they will not. Let me know what you guys predict happens in the comment section. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So it's Y for yes and for no. Todd Duche, why is J.C. Treader unsigned and who could get him? I don't know. It's a great question. Um, I wonder if him being the NFLPA president is a problem for teams. Not supposed to be, but he's older too. I thought he played well there for the Browns. I think there are a lot of teams that could use J.C. Treader, right? The Miami Dolphins. I know Will Scott wants that real bad. The Minnesota Vikings. Garrett Bradbury's been kind of poor. Uh, the Denver Broncos. I saw that one linked by PFF. I don't quite get the love, but I'll, I'll mention it. The Cowboys, stuff over Tyler Biotish. The Ravens, if you don't want Patrick McCarry there at center. The Raiders. Uh, I don't trust Andre James. The Giants, well, that'd be a huge pick for them. Sorry, John Fleason, you're not that good. And I know Seattle also signed, uh, I'll draw a blank on that, Austin Blythe, but I think he's way better. So there should be a lot of teams interested in J.C. Treader. Typically, when this thing happens, when there's not much buzz on a good football player, that means the NFL knows something more than what we know. From James Heinle, then we'll get to Christopher Griffin's super chat here. If you were the GM of the Giants, what would your next three moves be? Side note, RIP Haskins. Agree there, James. Next three moves? Try on my next three draft picks and maybe trade away James Bradbury if I could find him. So, ideally, either Evan Neal, Ika McWanu are there at number five. I would then take either Sauce Gardner or Kyle Hamilton, uh, whoever is there, in round two. And frankly... If I go corner, I'm going safety, or not round two, at number seven. In round two, I'm going the opposite position I went earlier. So it could be a a cornerback, could be a safety that's on the board for me in round two. I'd go the inverse of Hamilton or, or Sauce Gardner in that second round. Unfortunately, my boy Garrett Tate has an idea. And I, I asked for a lot of questions on Twitter, unsurprisingly. Um, I got a lot of, of trade ideas involving the Dallas Cowboys. Some of them uh, just, you know, they, they weren't. They weren't serious. There was a lot of Ezekiel Elliott for a bag of chips, Jerry Jones for a, a vacuum cleaner, which I, I found funny here. This one was first and second to the Giants for number seven. There was also one about like trading up for Ika McWanu, so I'll kind of group that together. Here's the problem. This package gets you to 13. It doesn't get you to seven. If you're trying to get to seven, you got to move probably your first next year as well. So this could get you an, Eel, an, an Evan Neal or an Ika McWanu. But it would have to be two firsts and a second to get that high. And I don't think the Cowboys have any real interest in doing that. We will be live for the entire 2022 NFL draft. In the words of Mitchell Renz, we'll be live for like 50 hours. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for every single pick. Grades each night, undrafted free agent coverage the day after. We've got you guys covered here at Chat Sports. Joe Cool 2.0. What is your opinion on Carson Strong? Where and when should he be drafted? By the way, glad to be back here. Yeah, well, obviously we'll go more in depth on Strong in my quarterback prospect rankings. Um, as a pure passer, pure pocket passer, there's some things like good arm, pretty good accuracy. The medical is a huge red flag, and 
don't think he's interviewed that well. Uh, I think that's a big reason why you haven't heard round one buzz for him. Plus, he's not mobile. So I got a fourth round grade on him. It's about where I think he should go. NFL Daily is also on Rumble. Exclusive content like our Rumble After Hours segments up there first at rumble.com slash NFL Daily. That video platform, by the way, is or also allows you to play your videos kind of background, audio only, unlike YouTube. If you, if you go away from the app, it doesn't work quite well there. So Rumble is actually super useful from that standpoint. So check, check it out today. Rumble.com slash NFL Daily. From Doom. Fantasy this year, running back or wide receiver first? Who's your number one pick? I always go running back early if I have a top three pick. Probably got to go Jonathan Taylor, right? If not him, probably Derrick Henry. If you're going receiver, do you double dip with, do you double dip with Cooper Cup? Uh, and maybe Jamar Chase could call there, Justin Jefferson, but I'm going running back. I'm going Jonathan Taylor round one. Alex Lancaster. Hey, Tom, when does the punt god Matt Ariza go in the draft? Who takes him? Team that needs a punter. Um, I'll be honest, when, when I do my team needs list, I don't do punters or special teams because I don't care. They'll be able to figure it out. I'm more focused on your important positions. Um, but I could see him going top 100. Teams are going to view him as a weapon with how strong his leg is. Other teams have some concerns about the uh, – the finesse part of it, the ability to pin it into the 20, just kind of booms it, which has got a, just, a, just a cannon of a leg. He'll go early. He will go really early. He'll probably be a really good football player, and there will also be better players who go after him who we continue to meme, a la, you know, uh, the pick of Brian Anger is a good punter for Russell Wilson, and that was a disaster. Speaking of the draft, well, the draft hats are available from our friends over at Fanatics, the official ones that your favorite team's player will be wearing this year at chatsports.com slash NFL draft hat. So check the comment section and that description. The link is in there for you guys for all 32 teams draft caps. Some of them are great. I like the Giants one. The Raiders one, eh, it's white on white. Not as good. Minnesota looks great. There's a lot of different styles. That's not all the flat room. They've got the round of the, the, the adjustables, etc. So check it out. Chatsports.com slash NFL draft hat.